Okay, so let's leave the leashes on. Okay. Um, but we're going to drop the leashes. But we can c catch the dogs if we need to. Okay, so, sounds good. Especially this little one. Yep, there it goes. Sharky. Come. Come on, Sharky. Come. 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 Sharky. Sharky. Let me close him off from the kitchen so he can't go in there and hide. Because that's well, what he... He He's doing pretty good. There. Sharky. Come here. Come. Come here. Sharky. Come up. You can do it. Come up. So I give no affection to him. Well, I'm going to show you what to do. OK. Sharky, come. 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 So he's drawing off your energy. Mm -hmm. But in order for him to really get over his fear, you have to force him, in a sense, to do things. If you stop giving the affection when he's in the bad state and you cause him to face his fear, he's going to move forward. Tying him to this dog is an excellent exercise for you to do. And if you could do it a lot in the beginning, it'll really help change this dog. Okay. Um, when you introduce him to new people, have the people ignore him at first, OK? They could have a treat on them. Like, if, do you have the treat in your pocket? I do. OK. So this would be a great use for treats for this dog. So Meredith, can you get him me the treat? Sure. And I'm going to show you. So when you have guests come over to your home, you can use a treat. Okay. So you're going to have your guests sit down, and you're going to have, well, we, I need you to hold this one. Mm -hmm. OK. Come here, Sharky. Sharky. So we're going to engage the nose first. He, he doesn't really like these? No, he does. And he's just really scared. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. You can do it. Come here. We'll do it this way. Would you like to have a treat? Not really. That's not. No, Goose. OK, so what do we do with this dog now? When he goes, he's not listening to you, right? Right. We're working on two dogs at once. Yeah. So since this dog isn't taking the treat. Let's switch to this dog. Okay. This dog is acting um, kind of rude mm -hmm. in a sense. His, he's not listening to you and he's trying to take food from me when I'm not giving it to him. Okay. So um, what we want to do is we want to correct this dog. Okay. So remember how we saw him discipline biting this one? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the same thing to this dog. But we, we aren't going to use our mouth. We're going to use our hand. Okay. Now it's not hitting your dog or punishing your dog. We're actually using our hand to mimic a bite that another dog would give a dog when they're acting rude or inappropriate or bad energy, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm explaining this to you so that you understand, okay? This is the philosophy, but then I'm gonna let you put it into action. So you're gonna take your hand and go like this, okay? And you have to use enough force. Does this dog have sensitive skin or not? Okay. No. So you have to kind of use a lot of force so, so she can feel it, right? It's a girl. Yeah. Okay. So you, it's like a jab like this, and it mimics a bite. This is what you want to do to this dog. Okay. And that's how you're going to get this dog to stop trying to steal food or bite the leash or jump up on people when you don't want him to. He needs to learn his, she needs to learn her place. And so you, you need to discipline. You also need to raise your voice. And, and let your dog know with a communication that this is unacceptable. Because right now, she doesn't know. She mm -hmm. doesn't have any idea that what she's doing is bad. She wants to get this, and she's going to go get it. Mm -hmm. All right? And you have to be the one to say, stop doing that. This is a bad thing. And if you continue to do it, there's going to be a consequence. So first, you can use your voice and then the discipline bite with the hand. OK. Do you want to practice on me first sure. with the discipline bite? Well, on you? Yeah. So you're going to do it on my arm, right here. OK. No. It, it, it's like this. Let me show you. It's pretty hard. Right. Did you see? I didn't use a fingernail, so. OK. And it, it's not meant to inflict pain. It just kind of snaps the brain out of targeting what they want. They go, whoa, what was that? And then they're, you know, they're, they're not looking at, they're not focused on that thing anymore. OK? OK. So there's an opportunity, because he's not supposed to, she's not supposed to be chewing on that leash. No. Now, where you're going to do it is generally on the shoulder blade. I didn't okay. explain that. So it's going to be here. So let's bring this little dog over here. And I got the treat. So she's going to go, probably go for this. Up! 
I, I'm not supposed to pull it away. 